guys, welcome back. So today's nail tutorial is another Halloween one. Mm -hmm. And it's on this Black Widow inspired uh, look here. So if you guys are interested on uh, how I did it, you can just keep watching. So for your base, you're going to be using a bright red cherry color. Now it's time to snag a really, really metallic silver color. This is going to be the center of our nails. All you're going to do is just make a big fatty stripe of this silver down the center, um, letting some uh, red on either side peek through. Don't worry about being perfect. I have a little solution to touch this bad boy up in just a second. You can either grab the red nail polish that you used for your base, or you can go ahead and snag a red art deco nail polish and uh, touch up the sides with that. So either go ahead and snag a white Art Deco nail polish or a white striper and go ahead and line the silver on both sides with it. Um, don't worry if it's all bulky and you know chunky like mine. Um, it will flatten out as it dries. Now it's uh, time to bring that little dirty spider to life. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab some black nail polish and with your nail art dotting tool or a toothpick, we don't have to be fancy here, um, you're just going to create a oval shape for the body of the spider. Now for the spider's little legs, you're going to need a art deco nail polish or any sort of nail polish striper. Go ahead and make two little nubs for the spider's little pinchers or um, whatever those are called. And then you can go ahead and start creating the legs. Feel free to put, you know, eight legs on the spider, but eight is just not going to fit on my nails, so I did four. <laughs> so for the rhinestones, I'm using these diamond um, shaped ones. I got these off of eBay, and you can get these for dirt, dirt cheap. Um, but anyway, I alternated the colors, and obviously, you know, to complete the pattern, we're going to snag a red one. So while the uh, body of the spider is still kind of wet and tacky, you can go ahead and plop on the rhinestone with either a toothpick, you know, just wet the bottom, and um, or the same thing with a dotting tool. So after everything's all said and done and your spiders are completely dry, you can go ahead and slap on your favorite clear coat to ensure a long-lasting life and make sure those rhinestones don't go nowhere. I think that about wraps it up. Um, this may be my last Halloween nail tutorial. I'm not quite sure yet, but if you guys have any requests or suggestions on, you know, a Halloween nail tutorial that I should do, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I hope you guys like it. Thank you guys so, so much for your amazing feedback on my Halloween nail tutorials. It means a lot to me. And um, I will see you guys on the flip side.